Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Echerno, and welcome to episode 23 of Network Chat Programming. Last time, we left off on quite a big cliffhanger. We had this little 1024 problem here. Why is the length 1024? I bet you guys were at the edge of your seats. Message.length was indeed 1024 and not 7 like we wanted it to be. Why is that the case? Well, welcome to Network Chat Programming. And today, we're going to find out why that's the case. So, the reason that's the case, as you might have probably guessed by now is we create a new byte of data that we receive or send and it is a byte that is 1024 okay we receive 1024 bytes which is one kilobyte of data now now we might not necessarily want to process all of that data okay if we send something simple which is actually what we've been doing right all we've been sending is a simple forward slash c forward slash followed by a four digit number which is the client's ID. That's all we're sending here. All right, so then why on earth, right? Why on earth are we getting this kind of 1024? Like why, why, why is it sending the entire thing? We only wanna send a portion of it. And the reason it's doing that is because we're never telling it to end, okay? So what we need to do is essentially tell the thing to end, but we can't, okay? We can't just simply be like, all right, bite, slice yourself in half, we don't need half of you. Can't be like that because then Byte would get quite offended and might go into the corner and cry. So what we need to do instead is figure out a method or figure out a way, essentially. I don't want to use the word method because then you think I'm referring to like a function or something, an actual physical method, method like get name, for example. Um, we, need to, we need to figure out a way that actually lets us kind of tell ourselves when the end of the message should be. So kind of like on a radio, you would, you would be like, hey, man, what's going on? Over, right? Over. You use the word over to kind of be like, this is the end of the message. Or... Um, well, yeah, okay, well, yeah, I guess in uh, telegrams you use the word stop, but that that's just a space, so <laughs> it's a bit different there. But um, yeah, so you, you use the word over. That's kind of what we need to do here. That's probably the best analogy I've come up with thus far, okay? That's what we need to do. We actually need to go ahead and say, this is the end of the mes message. We need a kind of like a termination character. So the, the thing that we're going to do for that, okay, and uh, go over here into our server send message, which is... Um, uh, send send a method here. What we will do, right, is um, at the end of here, when we send something with a byte of data, every time we send, what we want to do is instead of just send ID and then that, and then that's it, we don't want to do that. What we actually want to do is cut out one little process here. Um, I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. Okay. So what we're going to do is actually make a new send method in the server. So private void send. This will be a simple string called message. All right. And what this will do is, uh, oh, well, actually, it just won't be simply a string. It'll be a string message. It'll also be a, um, it'll be an inet address, address, and it'll be an import. Okay. So what this will do is this will call the send method. It will convert that message. Well, actually, first thing it'll do is it'll actually add something to the message, which we're going to figure out in a minute, but also it will convert the message. So, uh, get bytes we will convert the message into a, um, into a byte array. We will of course forward it to the address in the port. Now, what will we add to the message? Very, very simple. We will simply add something called, uh, well in the, in, in our case, cause we want to be all custom and stuff forward slash E forward slash, all right? Forward slash E forward slash. That's going to stand for the end. You could use something like a null zero character, which is that. Well, technically it's that, um, but we can't really do that. Well, we can, but we don't want to. Um, so E, okay? That's what we're going to use. So an E in Cherno chat means, well, the end kind of, okay? So now that we've done that, we of course need to change our way of doing things here. So in this process, instead of just sending ID, it'll get by it straight away. We can simply just send ID and that will of course use this meth method, which will add the E little thing on the end and do this stuff. Great. So what does that allow us to do in actual client kind of speak? So if message starts with C, right? Um, then let's print out the length first of all. Well, actually we don't need to. We know that that's going to be 1024. What we'll do is instead of simply splitting the message at C, which means that what happens is, let's just, let's just visualize this quickly, right? So what our string should look like right now is going to be very simple. It's going to be uh, that. So forward slash C forward slash followed by a random number like 8125, for example. Um, and then it's going to be followed by a forward slash E forward slash. 
and then it's going to be followed by, well, the rest is just going to be spaces. Okay, that's how it's going to work. So what we need to do is we can split the message by not just C, because what we really want is the is the, the kind of the, the data in between the two forward slashes. Um, or, well, not really, the, the data in between the two kind of characters that we've got here, C and E, um, which are, of course, are surrounded by forward slashes to make sure that they're actually not just normal characters. Um, so what we need to do is not just split it by C, but also because if we just split it by C, what it's going to do is it's going to cut out C, all right? It's going to basically put everything before C as zero in this array. Everything after C, which is basically the whole of this, will be now known as one, right? Now, what we want to do is just cut it to this. So what we can do is also use the E as a delimiter, okay? And what that will let us do is, of course, uh, make sure that th this will be indexed, like everything here will be index zero in the array. This will be index one in the array, and everything past will be index two in the array. So we'll, you, we'll keep it at one, but what, what we will add is a, is a pipe little thing here. It's like the OR operator, um, and then we'll add E. And that lets us basically, this OR operator lets us uh, kind of use different uh, delimiters all at once, okay? So now if we try and run this little glorious method, and we have to update everything else in a minute, but this should probably work. Um, if we try and run this, and we'll go yarn localhost up, oh, well, let's first of all stop the server. That could probably be useful at times. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and start the server. We're gonna, gonna go ahead into client, into login, sorry. We'll open that and we will um, yarn localhost 8192, log in, and you can see that we get a successfully connected to the server with ID 1356, which is exactly 1356, what our server told us we would be connecting at, okay? And that's it, so everything works, okay? So that's the end character. I'm gonna call this episode end character because it sounds cool, but also because that's effectively what it is. So um, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Sorry, it was a bit short, but I'll see you guys next time with another one. If you did enjoy this, and if you enjoyed this, like well, it's the cliffhanger, and you probably didn't enjoy that, but um, it was pretty fun, I have to admit for myself. If you did enjoy this episode though, please hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in another video, probably in the next episode of Network Chat Programming. Goodbye. Thank you.